Today I'm going to give a demonstration on how to clone cards like this uh, without the chip on and like this. It's uh, my fair cards and uh, I have this reader writer here. I'll put the, the type and description etc down into the description below. And uh, I wrote a script, I call it clone, <laughs> and uh, I will also show a link to that in the, the, the show notes below. So the script, what it does, it um, it looks for for the for the reader, let's just say sort of here, to be attached. And let's see here, it says OK, and place the card on the reader, OK. So this is the original card. And I'll place it there, and then the script automatically clones the card. And if there is a key on it, it'll try to brute force it, and then remove the card again. Okay, and please add a new one. So we'll try this one and see what happens here. See, it automatically writes the new UID and all the card data. And to do this, you need to have uh, one of these China cards where you actually can write this um, UID because normally the sectors for writing that is write protected. So um, I'll just try to do a new clone here where I'm doing the exact same thing. I'm putting this one on the reader there, cloning it. And then I'm, I'm going to clone on this type of card instead here. Uh, remove the original, done, that's the new one, done, and there you are. So now I've got, I've got three copies of the same ID. Yeah, look in, um, look in the descriptions below for the script and see how I did it. It's um, standard utilities, so fairly easy to get up and running. I just noticed one thing, you have to have a, a kernel. Um, Minus A, which is at least the version 4.18.3, because otherwise the driver for this type of uh, MSG reader would crash. There you are.